Welcome back, family. It's your boy, Buddha. Back with more of that Diddy news you can't use. You know what I'm saying? Now, check it out. So, look. Y'all know today Diddy got raided. You know what I'm saying? We already know Uh, they, they trying to claim and say it's for the sex trafficking or whatever. It might be, but like I said, I think Keefe D done told about Pac murder, about Big murder, and I think that got something to do with it. Also, all these bang outs in the clubs he done had in New York, I think that got something to do with it. You got multiple agencies hitting multiple properties strapped up like they was going into war. You see what I'm saying? They ain't going there like they was looking for no hostages. They ain't going there like, oh, uh, is Diddy here? Hell no, nah, listen. Crow bottom gates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They done broke Diddy gate. They done kicked over the door. They done stumped all up and through there. They done tore the walls down. They done flipped the sheet, the bed, the sheet covers and all that up. They done went through this man whole house. Now look, and people saying that it wasn't just Miami. And it wasn't just L.A., but it was New York, too. So that's three properties that they hit a Diddy's at the same time. What that mean to me? That mean they got some. And guess what? Whatever they got, Diddy know they got it. Because guess what Diddy did? <laughs> PJ left his son. Now, I'm going to tell you how dirty Diddy is. He left his sons and the rest of the family and everybody else. <laughs> and told him, look, them people coming, I need y'all to hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. So you mean to tell me all his sons was just caught at the house not doing nothing? All his family, all his people, they just caught at the house not doing nothing. Right? But he on the pew, gone. Gone. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there because Diddy, we know where you at, man. You right there, bro. He, he on some island where only four people stay at. You feel me? We know where you at, Diddy. So, it really ain't no big deal. You coming back to the state soon. They might come get you. If they can't go get you over there, bro, I'm telling you. It's a smoking gun that Diddy know they got. Diddy knew the feds was coming. You don't fly out the country knowing the feds coming unless you also know what they have. He know what they got. Y'all see how they just did Russell Simmons and Belize, 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 wherever the hell he at. They just gave him his papers. He still been served. So he still got to come back here and fight a case because he been served. I heard they sent Dog the Bounty Hunter over there, fake Hulk Hogan looking at it, nigga. I heard they sent him over there to give Russell Simmons his paper. They probably sent him over there to get Diddy. Why? Because the rest of them is tearing up Diddy properties. Yeah, the crib in New York, the crib in L.A., the crib in Miami. Speaking of Miami, hold up. Young Miami. You say, uh, I'm right here, what's up? Oh, Young Miami, Young Miami was about to pop it before she knew what was going on. So here and say, where Carisha at? She said, right here, what's up? Oh, thought she was going to get into it, man. Young Miami, as they said, nothing after that. <laughs> she, she, she went quiet after that. She ain't say nothing. But you know why she ain't say nothing? Because DJ Academic said, oh, she told him, did he? Mm-hmm, yep, yep, she a snitch. She told him. DJ Academic said, confirm cooperator right here. What you, uh, she said, feds at all three of that nigga's properties. You ain't acting bad no more, young Miami. Did you or did you not tell on Diddy and did he do it or did he do it? Now, see, young Miami, I ain't going to lie. We seen how you moved away from Diddy. We heard about him getting cut out your TV shows and all the episodes that he was in he had to get to. We heard about all that. But this your fault, too. You know why? Because you the one decided to go on your show and say, I love getting peed on. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even I don't even understand how like I, I couldn't even be comfortable like even trying to reach for a hug or you know what I'm saying? Try to like, cause I ain't saying she don't watch up or nothing, but it's like, 
Bro, like, how I know Diddy didn't just pee on you? You you see what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't even want to give her a hug and day. But, yeah, she was about to pop it until she realized what was going on, and she ain't said nothing since. Quiet as kept, chances are, you better hope Diddy ain't got no tape with you on there. <laughs> Diddy got a tape with you, and he got a tape with you and somebody else getting peed on. Well, I don't know if that's against the law or nothing. I'm just saying. Young Miami got real quiet when she saying it was real fast, when she saying it wasn't no joke, when she saying it wasn't no game, when she realized Diddy done took the private jet and hid right here on this little bitty ass island with four people. You know what I'm saying? It's over with, bro. They got you. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think it's crazy how he left his kids, left the family. All they done messed up the gate. And then, look, this is the crazy part. They done did so much damage to Diddy home that they don't even care. They crowbarred all his gates. So, you know, <laughs> hey, hey, Justin then was probably trying to let him in. I think they kicked in the door still. Got the dog. Where he at? Where he at? But somebody snitched. He knew they was coming. He was already packed. He was already ready to go. Look at his son. Hey, they bring him out walking backwards. Had him in the bush, tie him up, put the cuffs on him. Yeah, y'all dead. He left, huh? <laughs> hey, you know, you you know them, them uh guards, huh? Um, and you know they the U.S. government, so they extra tough. They got on all type of gloves and everything. Probably smacking them in the back of their head and everything. Yeah, well, your daddy go back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't he ain't he one of them that's involved in one of the lawsuits? No, nah, they want me. Come here, come here. Put them in cuffs too. They cuffed up everybody. Listen. They ain't ask no questions. They ain't read no Mirandas. None of that. Come here, put the cuffs on them. Cuff him, cuff him, cuff him, and him, and them. Multiple properties, bro. Diddy left everybody. You know you dirty if you know the feds coming and you leave your sons. What type of nigga is that? That nigga said, I got to go, nigga. I got to go. I ain't finna save y'all, nigga. I'm the bag. I'm saving me. Y'all gonna be all right. <laughs> what did he talk? That what did he talk, little nigga? Y'all gonna be all right, nigga? Nigga? I've I been, I been doing this my whole life. I've been dealing with the police, the feds, murder, Biggie, murder, Tupac. I've been dealing with this my whole life. Y'all gonna be cool. Nigga, I'm on this jet, though. I'm out, nigga. Island with the four people on there. I'm gone. You hear me? So, Young Miami, why did he ain't take you on a jet, and why did you shut up? I wasn't going to say nothing, but I seen when this situation first started, Young Miami got real quiet on that Twitter. Y'all know Young Miami be popping. She been real quiet. She been real not wanting to say nothing. She been real not wanting to open her mouth. Man, it better not be no tape in there, Diddy peeing on you now. I'm trying to, man, listen. Young Miami, if Diddy peed on you, you need to tell us now. <laughs> like, you need to let us know what went on at the freak offs. We need to know now. Now, now don't wait, because they coming to get you next. Hell, she ain't said nothing since earlier. They probably got her already. You know what I'm saying? They probably picked up a lot of people. Hell, Rick Ross said, I ain't heard him say nothing all day. He usually giving all the reports for everything that go on in Miami. This house on fire, this going on, that going on. The last thing this nigga did was unfollow Dre. Ross, where you at? One child of what they was calling that, the Bugatti boys? He ain't put you on the jet. You a Bugatti boy? You, get, you got the Rick Ross jet. Why you ain't let him get the Rick Ross jet? This nigga took a Sharpie over here to this island, you know what I'm saying, with the four people on it. Thinking he incognito. Thinking he wasn't going to get caught. Thinking he wasn't going to get found. And left his family, bruh. That shows you a nigga only care about. Listen, if I know them people coming, I'm going to take my son. Come on, we got to go. We got to go. Lock it up. Lock it up. Move it around. We got to go. He knew and dipped. The hell you going over there? Take that. Take that. No, nobody ain't even telling me he was leaving. <laughs> he ain't telling me he was leaving. He ain't even telling why he left for nothing. Take that. Take that. Take that. You know what I said? Gone. But do I think Young Miami tricked on him? I think she finna get around to it. <laughs> I think I think if it's any evidence in there concerning her, 
if she gonna do what she gotta do, I believe that. Oh, I believe that hundred percent. So, like I said, man, y'all stay right here, man. We got Diddy videos coming all night because it get deep, man. You know what I said? We gotta bring Keefy D back. We gotta bring Reg back. It's deep. It's deeper than what people think. And they don't get it, bro. Cause I'm telling you right now, if them if these police would have just showed up on some what they say they showed up on for just sex trafficking, nah, bro. You ain't crowbar doors and you know what I'm saying, breaking windows out and all that. They done tore up Diddy crib, bro, with no regard. And Diddy Rich as hell. These houses ain't even in his name. <laughs> the, house, the houses is in his sons and his daughters, they. They go to show you he a dirty nigga. How's a mansion in their name? They ain't even got enough money to pay for the mansions. He got the mansions in their names, nigga. Dirty. But trust me, they was looking for way more than just some sex trafficking stuff. They was ready to go to war. That's guns and bodies. I don't care what nobody say. That's what they was looking for. They was on a mission. And whatever they was looking for, they got tipped. They got tipped off. And it got something to do with the evidence that they already got. <sighs> it's been a badass year for Diddy. He shouldn't have never tried to sue them people for some rock. It's been downhill ever since. But y'all get in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. It's your boy Buddha. I'm out.